put it at five. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I don't understand you. This will be known as the Great Burger Wars of 2019. Real quick guys, we just dropped an awesome collection in the Smosh store. So if you want to get it, you got to get it quick. Smosh.store. Hello. So today... So maybe we can... I didn't do it that oh, time. Oh, you didn't do it? That's, you caught me. Today we're rating all the secret items that are on the secret menu at In-N-Out. I love it so much. I've had all the regional stuff. I'm from the South. I've had plenty of Shake Shack up North. In-N-Out is the way to go. It's so good. In-N-Out has a very, very small menu. Mm -hmm. And what what a lot of people don't know is that there is a secret menu. It's where not you can, a secret. It's not, it's not a secret. So we've ordered all of them. We're gonna be ranking them on this board just as we did with the 31 Flavors video, which if you haven't seen that, go watch that right now. Swipe up on YouTube. Swipe, yeah. Yeah, I don't think it works that way. This this item is so secret that they have a specific box made just for it. I know. This is the the In-N-Out animal style fries. So uh, good. The fries are just about the worst. Whoa, buddy! We have opposing tastes. Okay, look, I feel like that's gonna come up again. Look, here's a here's a secret for anyone that goes In-N-Out. If if it's your first time. Get the fries well done. Get them done light, fried light. It's the what? opposite of well done. What? Yeah, take take a nice, take a good, good piece. Take a gander at that goose. That's some goose humor for you. <laughs> Gander's so, a male goose. Um, thank you. However, I think we can both agree that animal style fries are the bomb. Here, you can, if you want, to, you can put that. In. All right. All right, cheers. we're gonna dink it Plank. and sink it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Even lukewarm. Uh huh. The onions are like smoky. They definitely mm. caramelize really well. The cheese is rich. This gets a yes from me. This gets a very yes. So I'm I think put it, already this has got to be, let's put this at number one. We can always scoot it down. But this is my favorite thing we've had so far. Oh, two, you can't, you can't just three. vault right to the front. Put it put it up where up somewhere and we can always scoot it up there. <sighs> this is damn All right, good. animal fries. I'll put it at two. I just want to leave room for improvement. I wonder what will be the daiquiri ice of the In-N-Out world. Nothing will be the daiquiri ice of the, of the In-N-Out world because nothing is as bad as daiquiri ice. Mm, I hate it. This is, who made this? Do you want to banish it to the nether? Yeah, this is, this is ice cream hell. Ice cream hell for sure. Should we start with this? This is the grilled yeah. cheese, it appears. I already know this is gonna be low on the list because the meat is so delicious, but let's give it a shot. Wait. Let's dunk it and sunk it. Okay, fast food commercial tip. If you book a fast food commercial, gotta have the tips of your fingers all the way How on the outside. How many people so watching looks... are gonna book a fast food commercial? Don't stifle their dreams. I'm sorry. Uh, fingers all the way on the edges and the tips so that mm. uh, it looks like a bigger burger and you've gotta like smile while eating it. So watch, you can't believe how big it is and like, Mmm, mmm. Actually, that's really good. I mean, is that as good as a burger with meat on it? Hell no, so it's okay. gonna be low on the yep. list. But uh -huh. So we should probably put it at 12 then, yeah? Similar to the other one, I'd say 11 so we have room to grow. And I also just want to disagree with you just a little bit. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. All right, okay. You know, it's kind of looking like a maybe a protein moment. Protein style burgers are my absolute favorite. They saved my life. Sponsor me in and out, buy me in and out. Shane, I hate you, I love you. Oh yeah, it's dripping oh, all over the place. Maybe a triple. It, there's meat in there somewhere. Mm -hmm. And it's dripping quite a lot, sees, so I'm just gonna take a bot sees. It's when you roll six sixes in a row and you're like, bot And everyone's like, oh, you win. Yes. <laughs> all right. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mmm, so good. The guy who decided uh, burger without bun is way smarter than the guy that decided burger without the meat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. To have lettuce, this crisp, cold, like refreshing squirt of lettuce mm. while you're trying to I bounce mean, it out with hot you, meats. You had me until you said squirt. squirt. No, yeah, you don't need to say that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take a bite number three of this because I like it. Remember that when we're ranking it. Uh -huh. Say number one, baby. No. What? A protein style burger is still an incomplete burger. You know, I'm not gonna say it's a number one. Are you gonna really put that above animal fries? Yep. But you know, hey, this is a team effort, right? That's there's right. No That's I right. team, but there's a me and team, and please appease me by putting that at first. Look, we all know that that's a lot, that protein style burger being number one is a freaking lie. I know nothing. But just to appease you, for now, mm -hmm. I'm gonna put it at one just to make you happy. It's not gonna stay there. It's not gonna stay there. 
Oh, the chili peppers are on the bottom. That's what this is. Oh. Burger with chili peppers. Burger with chili peppers. I didn't even know they had chili peppers. Uh, I'll show you, I'll show you. I'll show you. No Why problem. did it require two, like, ends? Keeping all the spice. Keeping all the juice. All right. Uh, you ready to go for this? All right, cheers, buddy. Chile. Mmm. Mm-mm. Mmm. Mm-mm. Mm. Nope. Mmm. Nope, not about it. Mm. It's growing on me. It's got a nice little spice, you know? The spice is good and it sort of overpowers the actual flavor of the chilies. Mm. Kind of dig it. I mean, like, I guess maybe I'm just used to a normal In N Out burger, so some sort of addition to that flavor mm-hmm. is very welcome. I would not say no to this. I wouldn't kick this out of bed. I'm gonna say, uh, I don't know. Say it on, on the count of three. One, two, three, Six. four. Ooh. Wow. Let's say we put it at five. They spelled chili like the country. Patricio. Our, our uh, translator for El Smosh is from Chile. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so shout out to Patricio. Are we ready for the next box opening? You know we are. Oh. Well, that was kind of an <laughs> anticlimactic. <laughs> what the, what? Oh, is this, yes, there's a Scooby wait, Snacks. Is this Scooby Snacks? Yes, yeah, Is this seriously Scooby Snacks? Would you do it for one Scooby Snarch? So this is a Scooby Snarch. It appears to just be a uh, hamburger pack. You can see the crystals of salt. in and out always looks appetizing to me. I think this is the one way you could ever make it look gross. Mmm. This is for sure in the bottom 12. <laughs> Why? Yeah. Uh, is it literally for your dog? Yes. Oh, it is. So this is for the dogs? one that they drop on the ground. Is this like the, the unclaimed meat from in and out Like everyone's like, I don't want that in my burger. Have you ever just licked a, 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 a unseasoned meat patty before? Three, two, one. Not great. It's going to the bottom of the list. I would give this a solid 12. Hey, you know what, uh, Damien? I'm feeling I'm feeling like a little 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 thirst upon my mouth. Can we do some milkshakes now? Thirst. Thirst. Yeah, let's do milkshakes. I will give a little disclaimer. I'm not the biggest sweets guy, and milkshakes sure as hell don't like me. Then all these boys show up in your yard, and you're like, come on. I know. So this one, uh, let's do this first one. Okay. Oh, we're This is we're, the, the root beer float. We're doing it. Oh, I'm down for that for sure. Mm. Mm-hmm. Why aren't you looking at me in the eyes when we're doing this, Damien? One of mine is. It's sweet, just like you. Oh, thank you. It's spicy, just like you. Uh, it's full of lactose, just like you. Mm. <laughs> it is less than three dollars, just like you. <laughs> it just it's just a creamy root beer, basically. There's malt in there. It's malted vanilla ice cream mm. in root beer. And for me, not gonna do sweets often. If I am, malt is amazing. I love it so much. Stop saying malt. I think malt. that's you know that's one of my words that I don't is like it? to hear. I, I think so. So like after well after hearing you say it, I don't want to hear it again. Malt. Turn. What Stop it. Okay, y'all. Um. I thought it was good. Mm-hmm. Is it better than burger with chili peppers? Good. Hell no. no. I'd put it at like a solid six. Oh, that would have been really cool if that worked. That was take number five for us, you guys. Um, so this is the Neapolitan milkshake. So it's the strawberry milkshake, the vanilla milkshake, and the chocolate milkshake, all swirled together in one delicious bunch. Let me ask you this. Has anybody ever actually enjoyed Neapolitan after the age of like eight? Because when you're a kid, you're like, I want all the flavors, but as an adult, like it all mixes together. I guess uh, I guess we gotta try this bad boy, yeah. Well, yeah, let's You're try already it going into it. No, I wasn't malty. Stop it. You may- uh, Although it does remind me of a Whopper, which I know is a malted, That's malted, malted milk, milk ball. ball. Yeah. Well, okay. So the issue I'm finding here is that there's no discernible flavor. Mm-hmm. It's just it's just sweet malted milkshake. Yeah. Thank you. I know we just had a difference of opinion, mm-hmm. but I think we did just learn that one of them was correct. It's not as good as the root beer flow. Hell, I'm gonna put that like a nine. All right. Like a German person saying no. Uh, you know, what? I'll support. I'll support that decision. Yes. Neapolitan shake. All right. Numero nine. Nueve. All For right. animal style, we got those special, special grilled onions. We got a pickle mm. on there, I guess, and we got a burger with cheese. Yeah, I didn't know animal style came with a pickle. It's been a while. At the very least, these are some thick boy oh, pickles. Oh, this is gonna be so good. I know it though. Oh, all right. Uh, here we go, baby. Three, two, one. Oh. I like it. I'm not a pickle man, but I like it. In and out burgers hold up really well over time. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, a lot of burgers get like soggy and stuff. Like, in and out, the flavor stays. So, ah! 
Seven? Seven. All right. I'm very down for seven. Burger with cold cheese. You asked for um, a B-dub CC, and this is how they give it to you. <laughs> B-dub CC? Yeah. No, if you go to any In-N-Out, and you say, I want a B-dub CC with uh, WDF, well done fries, um, and a DC. Burger with cold cheese, oh, so well done fries, so, so, uh, and a Diet Coke. <laughs> uh, disclaimer, if you go to In-N-Out and say any of those things, we'll throw you right out. Hmm. Mm -mm. Hmm? Hmm. I'm liking it more as the cheese gets warmer in my mouth, which defeats the purpose. That also begs the question, a little bit of a tangent, if they keep mixing up stuff like this, why is there not like a fries on the burger option? Wouldn't that be dank? Yeah, look at those, Hold look up. at those eyes. Hold up though. A fry bun. Um, I'm gonna put this down low. I'm gonna put it down low, way yeah. down low. How low can you go, Ian? How low can you go? You know, the lowest I could go is probably a 10. Uh oh. Life. What? Ooh, I'm on board. I'm on board. No. Look at this, baby. This is so dumb. I'm super on board. Why would you do this? This is the best part of a burger. What are you talking about? Why would you order this? Let's All find right. out. Sorry. That's really good. I really like it. This is the best part of the burger. This is what you're trying to get to anyway. Tomato, get it out of here. Lettuce, have a nice day. This is really good. It's not great, but it shouldn't be this good. It's better than the sum of its parts. Okay, okay I'm moving Neapolitan shake up. <sighs> And I'm moving burger with cold cheese. Oh, out. better! I, that's. Can you just? Can you just look, switch? See, look, should we? Can you just? We should probably just bump them. all these forward, right? Please put Flying that? Dutchman over burger with cold cheese. Cold cheese can die a thousand. Well, days. cold cheese is just a friggin' burger with slightly less melted cheese that'll just melt in your mouth when you eat it. But it so how is it any worse so from a regular ass burger? It tastes so different. Did, did it really it though? It really <laughs> did. Nah. Yeah. Yes. Just right. for you. Okay, thank you. Just for you. I'm glad we could compromise. So we dink the mustard? Well, let's dink the mustard. Mustard. That's damn good. It's even better than without mustard. How's about it? I'm not I'm not sensing a difference. What if you ate both mustards? I definitely didn't get the mustard last time. Can I eat the ass of yours? Can you do me a solid and never call that? It that uh, no, 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 just let me bite. <laughs> The mustard, it's got a distinct smack of mustard. Not really. What? Your palate is dead. You're not a refined gentleman like myself. Look, man, half my body is meat and milkshake right now. Mm hmm Do you think my mental faculties are gonna be completely intact? If it's the same to you, put it above. No! I'll just, I'll just put, I'll move all these forward. I'll move all these forward and I'm gonna leave 11 empty because Scooby Snacks still belongs at the very ass end of this list. It's 11 for the friends that are no longer here with us and that's why you leave a chair empty at the table. Oh, yeah, baby. Why is the four by four four times soggier than the other burgers? Is that a real question? Yeah, it's four times as much greasy meat. Yeah, all right, go for it. Oh, buddy. You said to touch every part of that burger, didn't you? All right, four by four, baby! Ah! Mm. Mm. That's a solid bite. Damn, mm. boy! Mm. That's a solid bite, boy! Mm. Mm. So good. All right. It made me actually kind of miss a bun with all these other things. We've I had. know, dude. Mm. You know I'm just now realizing? That we get paid to do what we love with the people we love? <laughs> and now it's very salty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that's why it's oh, so good. So Good. That's why it's so good. Our bodies crave salt. That's true. That's why we lick rocks. Mm. What? What's up? But are you thinking what I'm thinking in terms of rating for this thing? I'm so meat sick at this point. I, can't, I feel like I can't give a, 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 an accurate review, you know what I mean? Don't you worry, buddy. That's why we're a team. But also, I don't, you, I don't trust your opinion, so Listen. also I can't just go along with whatever you say. Let me just make some adjustments on this board. <laughs> Don't you hold up, hold up, hold up. No, up? no, 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 you sit, you sit your butt down. Sir. I haven't gotten to do any of them and we're a team. Yeah, but, but the team aspect is that you tell me bad opinions and then I put the correct rating on here, except for that gimme that I gave you. If you really think that, then look what Steven's doing right now. Oh, dang it, he got me. So, I think the 4x4 <laughs> is the perfect Perfect in and out burger. It's its claim to fame and for good reason. Got your meats, you got your cheese. It's still a classic burger, but boom. Okay, I will fight you. I will physically fight you. Protein style burger, amazing. What? I'm, I'm 
think this looks very good. That's a terrible positioning. That's terrible. What on earth would Damien, you do differently? Damien, be ashamed of yourself. Oh, really. I would never. Really, protein style. That high up, sir. No. Listen. This will be known as the Great Burger Wars of 2019. Here's why I'm doing this. Because my go-to order at In-N-Out. It's three... not about you, Damien. But We're voting for America and the rest of the world. I'm trying to distill these into separate parts and figure out what I love about each aspect of that and therefore rate it with you whose opinions are wrong. Protein style burger right. is not a real burger. You're a liar and a cheat and a snake. It's not. Google burger, you're not gonna find it, buddy. You're, you're, li you're, you're cheating. It says, per it says no. burger and no. there's all the sorts of you lettuce ones. You typed in protein style and then you just typed in burger I above it. I didn't do that. Tell me, tell me the thought that went through your head when you ate the burger with chili peppers. But did it make are you, you trying to put that, hold on, are you trying you to put make, that above? Hold on, but Damien, mm. did it make you feel something different? You came in here with a very heavy bias towards the protein burger. I did. I'm not I don't asking think for that to be on top. I'm not. And you put four by four at number one. It doesn't belong there. That's an abomination. It's really disgusting. Look at it. It's America in the palm of your hand. Yeah, and you know, America isn't perfect. But it all comes together. It's better than any other burger you've ever had. Five guys, get the f out of I here. I don't agree. <laughs> Could we agree that the double double is better than four by four? No! <laughs> what? This has no business being in the culinary world. It's completely weighted towards salt. It's not excess, it's a monument to excess. When it's we are gone, it will be here. It is an obsidian Sir, statue. Everything we do oh, is I disgusting. Oh, I agree with that. I agree with that. Then do you not want to eat something that reminds you of you? No. I want to feel something good. I want to feel something new. You want to try feel something new? Take a bath in Pop Rocks. We're talking burgers, buddy. When you bite into that burger with the chili peppers, uh -huh. you get the salt. You get the spice. Yeah. You get that umami. How far down would you even put the four by four? And don't I'd, you say four. I'd put it at five. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I don't understand you. Animal style we barely like. Pickles are supposed to be on oh, there. Oh, so it should be below the animal style then. This is no more jokes. This is, I'm mad. I'm very mad. Okay, okay, okay. What would you put at number one? Chili burger? I think I got us here. I think I got us. I don't trust anything that's about Damien? to happen. Damien? What's up, man? The thing that belongs at number one. Ian? The animal fries. I will compromise and say animal fries can go at number one because they are also better than some of their parts. They are also an in and out staple that you're not getting anywhere else, at least at the same caliber. I can agree with that. Okay. Okay, All right. so if I agree with that, uh -huh. can either 4x4 four four or protein style be number two? Okay, Damien, since you are willing to compromise with me on the animal style fries, Thank you. I will put the protein style burger at two, if and only if. You wanna put chilies at We two. put the 4x4 four four burger above the animal style. But below chili. But below chili and root beer float. Yes, I can do that. I can do that. It's not just for me, you're right, this is for America. America Ferreira of Ugly Betty, my best friend. I think I think we agree the fried mustard is better than the rig. By far, I hated the sure. rig. Okay, great. Uh, then I think we're I think we're settled. I think we can do a quick recap. We yeah? did it! All right. Hey, we made it here. We've only been filming for 20 minutes. Yeah, it's been about an hour and a half. 20 minutes. Woo! In and out! Secret menu rating! Oh, we're back, baby. Count down the numbers of the things we ate. My God, you watched a second one of these, so thanks. Twelve, those Scooby Snacks. Nothing much to them, so they're pretty whack. Eleven, the Flying Dutchman's son. Number ten was slightly better with some mustard on. Nine, grilled cheese and that salt. Eight, not great, cold cheeseburger took a fall seven. A Neapolitan shake, drank it all down, gave ourselves a tummy ache. In and out secret menu. What secrets wait for me? Shame by me in and out. Six, burger animal style. Five or four by four, which eating took a while. Four, 
a root beer float Classic American, but it didn't rock the boat Chili pepper burger, we put in number three Then burger protein style at number two for me Finally, there's item number one Animal style fries to fill up the tongue Oh, Shane, buy me in and out I'm gonna rob you blind if you guys like what we did here, please let us know. We want to eat more Delois' foods, even if they're not necessarily the best for you, and uh, this is the way we want to do it. So yeah, please do. If things are coming out both our ends, we got to leave. We love you guys so much. I want to do this again. I do Damien, too, man. I love you, buddy. I love you too. We don't get enough bonding time. I know. We talked about getting a hot chicken at some point. Yeah. Let's raid hot chicken. Yeah. Oh, remember me? Buy this sweet, sweet merch before it's all gone. Smosh.store, baby. Wow, those were sure a heckin' lot of bees churgers for Monchin. I hope you guys enjoyed watching us eat way too much beef. Hey, if you want to see what we did last week, try not to laugh, duel. Click this video over here. Otherwise, this video over here was picked out just for you. Now I'm gonna go have a beef coma.